Hello and welcome to this Bioprocess International Ask the Expert webcast. I'm your host, Leah Rosen, the online editor for Bioprocess International. Before we get started, just a couple of notes. This webcast is being recorded and will be made available for replay in the multimedia section of our website. We've muted the audio lines, but we welcome you to type in your questions for our speaker in the question answer window on your screen. After the presentation, we will begin the question answer portion and I will ask our speaker your questions. Your questions will only be visible to myself and our speaker. So thank you for joining us today. It is now my pleasure to introduce our speaker, Yu Dong from Wuxi Aptech. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for attending this webinar. My name is Yu Dong. I'm an Associate Director for the Process Technology Development at Wuxi Aptech. Uh, today, I'm happy to introduce to you our newly developed suspension platform for large-scale lentiviral manufacture. Wuxi Aptech is a global CTDMO. We provide robust platforms and services to our clients and business partners. Since 2015, we have developed a number of robust platforms for gene and cell therapy purposes, as listed here. In recent years, the CAR T clinical trials have been increased dramatically. These are great activities for patient treatment with rare disease. There's a high demand for high quality lentivirus production. However, there are some major challenges of lentiviral vector production using adherent platform. In order to meet the demand of large scale lentiviral vector manufacture, we started to develop lenti suspension cell line and platform since 2019. Today, I will show you some exciting progress of our X lenti suspension platform, which will launch soon. Excellent system covers all procedures for CGMP lenti vector production, including supply chain, facility, manufacture process, and fully integrated testing. For supply chain, we have CGMP suspension cell line, in stock raw materials, and well prepared batch record ready for client projects. For facility, we have GMP facilities with a large scale production capacity and the support from PD, AD, and other teams. For process and uh, analytics, we have well-trained staff, scientists, and fully integrated in-process and release testing. Excellent system will ensure the production success and accelerate client lenti pipeline success. Uh, Wuxi Aptech also has a CAR-T platform, which allows us to provide a strong solution from lentiviral vector production and CAR-T services. Uh, the major challenges for adherent lentiviral vector production include low productivity, difficulties to scale up, safety issues, and high cost. To overcome each of these challenges, we developed an excellent suspension platform, which has outstanding features. We developed a single clonal cell line producing high titer lentiviral vector. Our platform has robust scalability, optimized the process and the cost efficiency. In terms of safety, our cell line was developed from HAC293 cells without SV40 large T. The cell culture medium is chemical defined medium without serum. As a result, excellent suspension platform provides a strong solution for large-scale lenti production. Excellent suspension cell line was suspension adapted from adherent HAC293 cells into fully chemical-defined medium. The cells were then subjected to stability analysis, recovery analysis, and lenti production testing. The cell line showed robust cell growth and high yield in shaker flasks and large bioreactor systems. Research cell bank, master cell bank, and a working cell bank have been generated. Master cell bank and a working cell bank have been CGMP banked and released. In order to further improve the features of suspension cell line, we performed a single cell cloning and established two single clonal cell lines among thousands of clones. 
the productivity was tested by plasmase transfection and compared with the lenti adherent cell line and other suspension cell lines. Excellent cell lines showed robust cell growth, high variability, high infectivity, and excellent scalability. Furthermore, the upstream and the downstream process have been optimized and simplified to be manufacturer friendly. On this slide, from the left panel, you can see the MCB and the WCB cells show the robust recovery and the growth. In addition, excellent cells show the excellent scalability. Consistent cell growth data has been collected from small shake flasks and bioreactors up to 200 liter. Furthermore, excellent cells have no cell aggregation issue. Anti-clumping reagent is not needed for cell culture and uh, lenti production. This will facilitate upstream large-scale production and downstream purification. Lenti transfection efficiency and uh, infectious titer were compared in X lenti suspension cell line, WXATUS0028, and another suspension cell line from WuxiATU. Both cell lines showed good results. However, excellent T cell lines significantly increased the transfection efficiency up to 92%. Meanwhile, the infectious titer is more than 2.6 E8 TU per mil. Consistent data was uh, observed from passage 5 and passage 13. This ensures a high productivity in large bioreactors such as uh, 20, 200 liter. Excellent platform process is carefully designed, optimized, and simplified. It starts from cell saw and the seed chain to expand the cells. Then cells will be seeded in culture vessel at the defined cell density. Transfection takes place in the next day. Three days later, the cell culture will be harvested for downstream purification and testing. Builds of material, batch records, Technology transfer documentation and sample and testing plans are integrated into the platform. This streamlines the GMP manufacturing process considerably. More importantly, this will accelerate the project delivery. Meanwhile, save the cost. Here, I use a 200 liter run as an example to walk you through the whole process. After cell saw and the expansion, excellent cells will be seeded in a 200 liter single use bioreactor for transfection. Then chemical stimulant will be added to transfected cells to stimulate lentiviral vector production. After harvest, the cell suspension will be passed to downstream for purification. The downstream process can be adjusted based on client projects and the purpose for ex vivo or in vivo. For example, cell suspension can be clarified and concentrated. Then column chromatography can be used to reduce impurities. After the TFF, the material can be sterile filtered to remove contaminations. Finally, the drug product can be filled in vials. The whole process takes about 28 days. Here is the general step recovery of downstream process. The purification process has been carefully tested. Each step has been optimized for materials, reagents, and procedures. This ensures the process success and high quality lenti vector production. In conclusion, today I introduce to you X lenti suspension production system. This system has obvious advantages for large-scale lentiviral vector manufacture. Our system can produce a high titer lentivector with a single clonal cell line. It has robust scalability. MCB and the WCB have been released for client projects. Chemical defined median and HAC293 cells meet the safety requirement. Optimized process is suitable for manufacturing production. Pre-prepared batch record, B 
bills of material and the technology transfer documentation will accelerate the delivery of product. Finally, fully integrated testing capacity will save time and cost for clients. Again, thank you for attending this webinar. I'm happy to take any questions. Thank you. Great, thanks to you. So we do have a couple of questions. The first question is, do you use additives to solve cell aggregation? Uh, thank you for the question. No, we don't need to add anything for cell aggregation. Uh, our single clonal cell line has very low level cell aggregation. This has been selected during cell cloning and tested in different scales, including 200 liter bioreactors. Thank you. And have you compared the lenti productivity with different cell culture medium? Uh, thank you for this question. Yes, when we developed our cell line and the process, uh, we tested the different cell culture media and the transfection complex media. Eventually, we identified the commercial available media, which works well with our cell line and uh, is suitable for GMP manufacture. Thank you. Okay. So it looks like we have time for just one more question. If we didn't get to your question, we will be passing those on to EU directly. So please continue to type in any questions you have and we will pass those along. But the last question for the webcast is, what are the polishing steps in downstream process for excellent suspension production? Thank you for this question. Uh, this depends on the project requirement and purpose. Uh, for example, for in vivo injection, high purity is needed we can combine different uh, chromatography columns to remove the impurities. However, uh, if for ex vivo, we may decrease the chromatography column to increase the recovery and the yield. Thank you. Thanks to you, and thanks to our audience for joining us. The recorded version of this webcast will be made available for replay in the multimedia section of our website. As a registered attendee, you'll receive a follow-up email providing you with a direct link. We look forward to having you join us at future Bioprocess International Ask the Expert webcasts. Look for those announcements in your inbox. Goodbye.